Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the Icarus Pocket. This is a brand new 6 inch e-reader and we've only been recently aware of this company and uh, in the near future shop e-readers will be offering this. It's a 6 inch e-ink pearl display. The resolution is 800 by 600. You have four gigs of internal storage and you can increase it up to 32 gigs via micro SD. It has Wi-Fi, it has speakers, battery life will last roughly about five weeks or so and it reads a ton of different ebook formats. Today we're gonna show you everything that comes in the box and hopefully power it on for the first time if it comes with some battery in it. And Peter here is going to crank this open and show you everything that lurks inside. All right, thanks, Mike. And you will see here, if you want to dive a little deeper, if you're tech savvy, it tells you the processor on that. You got a Rockchip 2818 processor, 1500 milliamp battery, lithium ion. And as Michael mentioned, the amount of readable formats does zip, does RAR, 7 zip, everything. Uh, something that pops out to me multimedia. One of the f last remaining e readers that actually has audio. I mean, the Sony, the. Amazon Kindle, the Barnes & Noble, the Kobo, they all got rid of their audio capabilities in their newest generation of readers. So might be good to see something with audio once more in an e-reader instead of a tablet. So you have nicely packed uh, styrofoam and we have a USB cable. Just show you everything that comes in here. Just a little bit of glue. So we have a mini USB. Haven't seen one of those in a while, but uh, it's about the reader, not what kind of port it has. This uh, goes into the device, and this goes into your tablet, PC, Slate PC, or Mac, as it says on the back of the box. Compatible with Apple products, I guess. So, so you would use this cable, incidentally, to both power your reader as well as copy content from your your PC, Mac, and whatnot. So hopefully this has a little bit of juice for us to do a first time boot up, but let's look at the device first. You have a nice hard rubber backing, very Amazon Kindle-esque in terms of the material. You have a reset button right down in there, a little hole there. Um, has uh, certifications there, FCC, so forth. The front, um, e-ink pearl display. You see how you can almost see something behind there. That's what happens with e-readers is that kind of stains the screen. This isn't a really problem when you turn it on, it'll conform it'll optimize to whatever page you're on left hand page turns right hand page turns it's nice to see uh, someone other than kindle do that i think the pocketbook just had them on one side so that's nice home uh m i guess <laughs> menu i'm not sure up down left right navigations with an okay i guess that's a back it's not really much of an arrow but back and this looks like a reload kind of a weird <laughs> weird kind of buttons at the bottom but uh status indicator light power button, mini USB, 3.5 mil headphone jack. So it doesn't look like there's actually any speakers on this. It looks like the uh, audio functionality is uh, you need um, headphones in order for it to work. Which is still good. I mean, that's what was lost between the Sony PRS-T1 and the T2 was the headphone jack. Uh, you have a 32 gigabyte upgradable micro SD card slot. So let's see if this has any power. Hopefully it does. Many people ask us uh, recently if what e-readers out there are not touch screen. A lot of people don't really uh, like touch screens because it's not as easy as just clicking here to turn the page. Often you need to like make swiping motions, which gets really tedious if you're a fast reader. I really like manual page turn keys. It's very easy to hold the device in one hand, whether you're right or left handed, to turn the pages. So again, this is the main interface here. You can see that it tells, tells you what you're currently reading, recent books, images, music, file manager settings, and so on. All these uh, international companies are always known to carry a vast library preloaded on their devices like Pocketbook and all those other European companies, Wexler. They all have tons of content loaded in multiple languages. So no matter what language you speak, you're going to be able to... Uh, find some use out of the preloaded content. And as Michael said, yes, uh, this isn't touchscreen because one, it'll make the device a little bit heavier and it'll make the cost go up a little bit because the screen has to have infrared touch around the bezel, whereas this is very cost effective. 
looks like page turn speeds are, are, are rather they're really quick and it doesn't look like every single page you turn is a full e-ink refresh it looks like it's about every six pages or so yeah that's pretty much um standard i mean even the 2012 amazon kindle uh four uh the new black one is uh it's just as fast as page turns and um yeah as michael said refreshes every sixth seventh page so i mean it's it's up to today's standards definitely okay so stay tuned to giddyreader.com for a written review on this as well as a ton of pictures and check out our youtube channel youtube.com slash goody reader for full full review video on this and if you'd like to leave a comment on this please uh, let us know your thoughts uh our preliminary thoughts is this looks pretty cool and I'm really interested to dive deeper into it to see what this could really do. Uh, automatically I'm won over by the audio functionality. Peter said it's lost on many of the new generation uh, e-readers. This e-reader just came out in July of 2012 so it's fairly current. Menus, things tend to load pretty fast so I, I think I'm won over already on this. So for an unboxing video of the Icarus Pocket, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.